I decided to force myself to read 10 manga recommendations without the right to refuse what's suggested. What could go wrong with that? Nothing bad, right? Right? Hey! Answer! I got a new skill every time I was exiled, and after 100 different words, I was unmatched. Recommended by Unit 16, who is also the video editor. The first thing I want to point out is the extremely long title. It's something I utterly hate in any manga, manhwa, etc. <sighs> yeah, I will never understand why someone thinks an entire sentence or maybe even an entire story makes for a suitable title. Now let's talk about this manga story. From the first three chapters, I see a few reasons why Yonuts recommended this manga to me. The art is very well done and precise, but the fact that the first two chapters are mostly comedic and then after chapter 3 you are hit with a huge dark twist intrigues me. After chapter 3, the manga becomes even more captivating, managing to maintain an interesting balance between romantic comedy and deep dark story. Another reason I believe he recommended this manga is the incredibly well executed twists which I love. On my first read, fresh out from the oven without overanalyzing, I give this manga a 9. But I must remind you that the ratings are temporary, the ratings are given and the text is written right after I finished reading at least 10 chapters of the recommendation. I'll offer more details on the recommendations in future videos dedicated to each manga featured in this clip. This manga has 30 chapters at the time I'm writing this script, and the number of chapters I read is 13. Blue Period recommended by Mihai Deje. This manga is one of those I wanted to read even before creating this video. The reasons are that I've already seen the anime, and it captivated me so much that I wanted to continue the story because I don't have the patience to wait for a second season, if there will ever be one. However, I never had the chance to give it a go and start reading it before receiving it as a recommendation for this video. Since everything I read in this clip consists of manga recommendations that I haven't read before. The reactions are truly fresh and straight out from the oven. The reasons this story captivated me so much are the following too. Its consistency, especially in anime, which made me want to read the manga, and the concept itself. To be clear, I'll try to explain what I mean. Everything you see on this channel is based on a script. Every word spoken is already written somewhere on my PC. All of my videos, both existing and future, represent my attempt to express myself and developed what could be called an artistic sense, or at least I hope so. Just like the main character in this manga, I had moments when I wanted to give up on the idea of turning my passion into my future job, but the desire to keep trying has always pushed me forward until I succeed. Just like the MC in this manga, I don't consider myself a talented person or naturally gifted when it comes to art, but after months of study and hard work, I think I've improved. For example, I'll show you two side-by-side -side images on the screen, one of what I used to build in Minecraft and one with what I'm building right now. For me, Minecraft is like a form of sculpture and painting in one package. So another reason why this manga, but especially the anime, touched me so deeply is because it's resonated with my soul and captivated me strongly. Another example is the video you watch right now. Maybe for some it's irrelevant what I do, but I truly strive to improve what I create. And so does my friend and editor, you know. And those who get constant questions from me, being creators themselves, know best how annoying I can be with my endless questions about what I create out of a desire to make better, more interesting videos and to evolve. In short, Blue Beard is a manga in which I see myself perfectly. But before moving on to the next recommendation, I want to share some exciting news about this manga. Get ready for your mind to be blown when you read just one chapter because the author is completely crazy. Each chapter has almost 200 pages and for those who are confused and don't understand the point, a typical manga usually has between 15 and 20 pages, sometimes even 30-40, but that's rare. However, one chapter of this manga has equivalent length of 10 chapters from most other manga. This also explains the great consistency of the anime, plus a rather unusual ratio that I have never seen before. Typically between 3 and 5 chapters are adapted per episode for an anime. However, this anime has 12 chapters, sorry, episodes. And in case you didn't get the joke, 12 episodes of the anime are based on the first 4 chapters of this manga. In short, the ratio is 3 episodes per manga chapter. This is something I swear i never seen before in my life and it completely baffled me but in a good way. And just thinking that this manga has 66 chapters with each chapter being so long and the anime 
only needed 4 chapters out of 66 to do a good job can only make my remaining neurons to explode. The rating I give this manga is 10. Cross recommended by Lucas. First of all, I must mention that I love two aspects of this manga, the goofy art style and the humorous tone, which often remind me of older anime. It's interesting that this manga is indeed old, with the first chapter released in 1990. I also appreciate the reference to various memes like the one on the fifth page of the second chapter. However, given the age of this manga, I assume that the source of inspiration for those memes were other manga that wanted to reference Kraus. So, in conclusion, I tend to believe that this manga is the original source of inspiration of those memes. Kraus seems to be mostly focused on comedy sprinkled with jokes in every chapter, alongside the constant theme of their event high school life. Despite fitting the classic patterns of this type of story, as well as the detail that the strongest they event is actually a good hearted guy and the characteristic humor, there are no new or unseen elements that surprise me. However, considering it was among the first of its genre and taking into account the date of its first chapter release, it deserves its well earned price because at that time, this manga story was like only one of the few of its kind. After a first read, without finishing the manga and without dedicating enough time to form a clear and definitive opinion, I give this manga an 8 out of 10. Manga Cross has 98 chapters and the number of chapters I've read is 13. Ishizoku Reviewers, also known as Interspecies Reviewers, recommended by Yasuke, a Romanian YouTuber with cool content on his channel. He's also one of those who constantly helped me with feedback for my videos. Bro, why? J just tell me why? Don't get me wrong, the comedy is impeccable. I laughed to tears with this manga, but at the same time, it's also a handy manga that tries to pretend it's not handy by not showing even a little bit of breasts or genitals. Still, it's more than obvious from the name and the story idea that it's handy. And if now Yasuke or others who agree with him tell me this manga it's not handy, I have just one question for you. Why? It's the only place I could find the complete manga or at least the first 10 chapters to read for this challenge on handy websites. Just give me an answer to this question and I'll pretend to believe you. As for the rating, although the subject is dubious and the fact that the manga tries to pretend it's not handy while also not trying to be less perverted than it already is, especially considering the theme, as I said, the comedy is impeccable so I have to give it the credit it deserves. Sometimes it's so successful that I laughed uncontrollably for several minutes, but even with impeccable comedy I can give it more than a 7, as my immediate opinion and rating after reading it without giving myself time to think of a clear opinion. Still, it remains to be seen what the final rating and opinion will be in the future video dedicated to this manga, if there will even be one. Juji Kano Rakunin, recommended by Gavira17. Ok, so where do I begin with this manga? First of all, thanks for the recommendation because it's a brilliant manga. It's another gem I didn't know existed. Secondly, for those who want to give it this manga a shot after watching the video you are seeing right now, brace yourselves, both your stomachs and neurons because you're really going to need it. This manga has a very disturbed story, in a good way, and those who have read, for example, Fire Punch or Chainsaw Man by Tatsuki Fujimoto will also love this manga because it's in a very similar style. So, for those whose neurons and stomachs aren't strong enough to handle disturbed stories, I kindly ask you not to start reading this manga because you risk falling into a full-blown depression from this kind of story. I've warned you, so it's up to you what you do next. Regarding the rating, after the first chapter I would have given it an A, as it seemed more than decent story-wise, but after reading more, it's clearly much more than that. I would have been torn between a 9 and a 10 as an impulsive rating, without overthinking my opinion and score, but unfortunately, there's one character that really gets on my nerves with the stupid decision they make, so I'll give it a 9. Plus, a note that after this video, in which I challenge myself to read 10 recommendations, I will definitely make a dedicated video about this manga, because I like it so much, even after the limited number of chapters I've read, that I want to catch up on the entire manga. The manga Jujikano Rukunin has 166 chapters. At the 
time I'm writing this script. And the number of chapters I've read is 12. Nana, recommended by Vido. Nana is an interesting story, but I do have some opinions about some things that seem a bit odd to me. Let's start with Nana's fascination with adult men. Why is Nana so attracted to men much older than her when she is still a minor? I understand the relationship with young men in their 20s, but a 33 years old when she's not even 18? What's going with her? Maybe love at first sight seems romantic to her, but the situation becomes ridiculous, especially considering the big difference and the fact that she is underage. Even her ex-boyfriend Asano is 29. Nana, have some patience until you turn 18. Now about Asano and the shady relationships. Asano, why are you acting like a pedophile? On top of that, you are married. Nana says she doesn't have a daddy complex, but most of the men she falls for are much older than her. Not to mention that Nana shows signs of love for other guys even after moving to Tokyo where her current boyfriend Shoji has moved for our score and at least so far seems like a good guy who loves her. When I started reading the second chapter of this manga, I thought it was uh, the type of manga where each chapter presents a small story featuring a girl named Nana. However, at the end of the chapter 2, it's explained that there are actually two Nanas, both in the same story, both as main characters, which is quite interesting and I've seen this type of idea very rarely. The way it's implemented in this manga seems quite unique. One Nana is a crazy rocker, but sweet and loving at heart, despite having a painful past, while the other is your typical childish love stuck high school girl. It's also worth mentioning that a chapter in this manga is quite long, especially the first one, being almost twice as long if not more than usual manga chapters. However, one thing that bothers me is the constant breaking of the fourth wall in every chapter. I understand doing this at the end of the chapter to communicate with fans, but in Nana this happens frequently, even in the middle of the story, which is annoying to me, especially since it happens every chapter. The repeat breaking of the fourth wall with direct addresses to the readers destroys the immersion in the story. Well, the story is good and has the potential to receive a very high rating from me, the constant addresses make me lower the final score by 1 or 2 points. The rating I give on the spot without much time for thought or analysis for the manga Nana it's 8. It could even got a 7 because of the constant readers addresses but I choose to lower the score by just 1 point instead of 2. Cat Sheet 1 recommended by Marius6317. This manga offers a fascinating story that combines elements of reality with adorable characters drawn as animals like rabbits and cats. Although the characters are cute, the actions focuses on war themes, addressing serious topics in an interesting way. The manga seems to be about World War II. Although I'm not sure how accurate the information presented is, there are also hints that it might indirectly address the Vietnam War, making everything seem less violent by portraying the characters as rabbits and cats. This stylistic choice adds an interesting layer to the story and softens the brutality of war. The story is captivating especially if you enjoy tales of combat and war. While much of the information seems quite real, it's hard to estimate how much is the outer work and how much is based on soldiers war stories. And by replacing animals with people, the story quickly takes on a very dark tone which adds depth and intrigue. After reading 10 chapters of this manga, I'm convinced I want to finish it due to curiosity and the fact that it seems to be a relatively short story. The rating I give on the spot is 7. The manga succeeds in captivating with its originality and unique approach to a serious subject through the lens of animal characters. The manga Cat Sheet 1 has 18 chapters and the number of chapters I've read is 10. Tokyo Girls Bravo recommended by Paradigm. Before I start, I want to clarify one thing, a problem I have with this manga and its author. Why is the main character wearing an N arm armband? Who thought that was a good idea? For those who didn't catch the references, the N army is a German army led by a failed painter with an unmistakable mustache. The manga art style is quite weak, or at least not to my liking. I don't have a problem with all their manga 
manga, a perfect example being Nana from this challenge, which I really enjoyed even though it's old. But in this case, the art style seems lacking, the story seems decent and interesting but it's limited to the classic high school problems and the usual nonsense of that period. It doesn't have much to say beyond that and it doesn't strike me as remarkable at least not yet. Who knows, maybe in the future after I finish reading the manga I'll change my mind. For now, the rating I give this manga on the spot and without much time to think, it's 6. While the story has potential and the art style is not on my taste, I'm open to changing my opinion as the story progresses. The manga Tokyo Girls Bravo has 25 chapters and the number of chapters I've read is 10. Boys Abyss, recommended by Askia. The artwork of this manga is quite decent and enjoyable, at least to my taste. The beginning it's easy to follow and after the first two chapters, I got the impression that the main character isn't just suffering from depression and anxiety due to the horrible environment he lives in, but also from hallucinations. It strongly reminded me of the song Racing into the Night. In short, the story of Racing into the Night is about a depressed boy and depressed girl who wants to jump off a building. The boy convinces her not to do it, they fall in love but the girl can't shake the desire to jump. In the end, the boy decides to jump with her, but as he falls, he realizes the girl was just an illusion created by his depressed mind and what happens next to him is pretty obvious. The first two chapters of this manga give me the exactly same vibe. After reading the remaining chapters, I can say that the feeling hasn't entirely disappeared, but at least now I know that the girl who suggested they jump off the bridge isn't an illusion but a real person. However, things get dark very quickly. I enjoy this type of story but that doesn't mean they don't hit me hard with emotions and feelings that can shake your mind due to their darkness. In my case, let's say I have some experience with this type of story, but if you are new to this genre, it can ruin your mood in seconds as fast as napping your fingers. Another interesting aspect is the main character teacher, who initially seemed like a very nice woman but turns into a very strange person at the end of chapter 10. If you are wondering why, you can see it for yourself on the screen. Let's not forget the protagonist, it's a minor and she is 29 years old, which adds an extra layer of tension and controversy. I definitely want to finish reading this manga as I'm a big fan of dark or extremely dark stories. The rating I give after my first read, without thinking too much, it's a 9. The story captivated me, starting off like a typical high school boy, the tough life, but quickly turns dark, keeps driving deeper into darkness with each chapter. The manga Boys Abyss has 183 chapters, at least at the time I'm writing this script, and the number of chapters I've read is 10. Hina Matsuri, recommended by Geno. The story is interesting, but leaves many questions unanswered. Who is Hina? Is she human, a robot, an alien? The artwork is decent, and the comedy is successful, though it's nothing groundbreaking. And apparently, there's another girl like Hina, which suggests that they might be aliens. The team and story are engaging, especially due to the existence of species of super-powered humans from outside Earth, known only by our protagonist Nita, who is a Yakuza member. So far, the story doesn't really explain what Hina and Anzu are, our two aliens. I speculate that they are aliens because they don't seem like beings that don't need food, so the theory that they are robots is off the table. And given that they have superpowers and talk about adults with powers like theirs, or at least that's the impression so far. The theory that they are mutants seems quite improbable. They eat normally, have superpowers, and appeared with the help of advanced extraterrestrial looking technology, and their conversations suggest the existence of an entire civilization of people with similar powers. That's why I consider Anzu and Hina to be aliens. This manga is definitely interesting and I intend to finish it reading it. For now, I give it a 7. The story is enjoyable, relaxing and full of humor. However, it doesn't seem to be more than just a decent read. Well, we'll see if my opinion changes as I progress through it. The manga Hina Matsuri has 117 chapters and the number of chapters I read is 10. I hope you enjoyed this challenge and who knows, maybe we'll do more challenges like this one in future videos. If you like to see more of this type of challenges or have other opinions, suggestions or points you think I missed, please share them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this kind of video, you do suggest that this video might be of your liking, so give it a shot. I've been Azabe, I wish you happy reading, bye!